Should you track it in your accounting system? The answer is absolutely, it is vital. Hey everybody, Jackie Rockwell said you guys wanted to know about in-kind donations and nonprofits. Great topic. We're actually planning on building out a nonprofit um, bookkeeping course in the near future for Brass Jack. So let's talk about nonprofits for a little bit. So first of all, there's just layers and layers of things when it comes to nonprofits. One thing to think about is sometimes grants or other um, foundations, people that are giving you money say, we'll give you money, but you need to match it. And in some cases, the match can be the volunteer hours for your organization. How many volunteers are you getting to help out the organization? There's a monetary value that's assigned to the hours, and then that's used as the match. The board members, you know, are volunteers normally in a nonprofit, and that board, those hours can sometimes be used as part of this match. So whether it's humans giving you time or services or materials, there's this often with nonprofits, this flow of service and products that don't get tied to the checking account, right? No one's actually paying for the thing. So should you track it in your accounting system? The answer is absolutely, it is vital that you track your in-kind donations in your accounting system. We need to know if you've had repair and maintenance expenses over the years, so we can budget in the future that you will have them again. If your carpenter repair person is someone who's been volunteering and doing the work for you for free, and you don't track it in your accounting system, then you have no record that you've actually had repair and maintenance expenses, and you can get blindsided in a year when you don't have a budget for repair and maintenance, and that person that was helping you out maybe moved out of town, and now you actually have to pay cash money for the service. So what do you do? Ideally, you have an in-kind income account in other income, other income types, so the bottom of the P&L, you have a in-kind income account. That lets you offset the in-kind expense with an in-kind income, aka a donation. So basically, it ends up looking like, hey, I'm your carpenter, I did $2,000 worth of work, you book the $2,000 as an expense, and you book a $2,000 in-kind donation to recognize that you did actually pay cash money for that expense. Now, as a reminder, this only should be happening in the nonprofit world. This is not something that happens in the for-profit world. In the for-profit world, we have to give money to people when they provide a service. You don't just get to say, oh, you're a volunteer today. We don't have volunteers in the for-profit world. So when it comes to in-kind donations, you can have in-kind expense accounts, but to me, they're not as necessary as an in-kind income account showing the offset of your expenses so that you can make sure all of your expenses are booked so when you look back at your history when creating a budget, you'll have all of your expenses, not just the expenses you paid cash money for. Thanks for asking.